Hey guys. It's raining. Hey guys. Shea Bear 1000 here. As you heard, it's wet and cold out. But we're in the truck because we're going to be reviewing this. The monster. It's the USB, well, the Bluetooth FM transmitter. And I'll explain that to you here in a minute. Now, I had a request not to just review this, but to do a step by step. So, this is for you. Um, she didn't want to know that shit. She wants to know how to do it. So, I, I'm going to do this and step by step. And I'm going to actually read the instructions and I'm going to do it step by step for you. It's real simple and I'll show you what we got here. Now in order for us to play anything off of our phone, any kind of music or playlist, what we have to do is we've got this, uh, what the hell? We've got this thing. Remember these guys? put that in there and then you have to plug this into your phone or your iPod or whatever you, you've got okay well we're going to do away with that right now I won't you know I'm not going to throw it away but and I'm going to get this out and I'm going to show you how to use this thing. First thing we're going to do, it says plug this car charger. See, it's got USB ports too. It doesn't charge your car, but it's a charger from your car that will charge your accessories. Okay, it says plug your car charger FM transmitter into your vehicle's lighter socket. Okay, we're going to do that right now. There it is. This is high. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay. All right. Start your vehicle's engine, and the LED display will light on high, which I don't have the truck running, but I've got the key on. And it, it did that, okay? It'll flash alternately. In case you have completed step four, you would hear a voice, prompt, a voice prompt ready to pair. Okay, but we're not in step four yet. Okay, easy. You plug it in. Okay, now, so that's not really a step actually, but now step three, enable Bluetooth on your smartphone and search for Bluetooth devices available. So that's what we're going to do right here. Alright, let's go to Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Hang on. I'm doing this wrong. Let's go to settings. Bluetooth, okay, it's off right now. We're going to turn it on. Okay, connection available. Click it. Once successfully connected, FM will display and a voice prompt. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to search. And there it is right here. It came up. It's pairing, and we are connected, okay? All right, now, that's still on the radio, okay? That's why I got it turned down. That's why you didn't hear it say anything. Turn on the FM radio on your, on your core audio deck and tune to an 
unoccupied frequency, which is white noise. So just find something that's... There it is. Okay. Alright. So, 90.9, okay? Alright. So now, it says, press FM frequency, wait, press FM button on car charger, FM transmitter, until FM frequency flashes. Okay? So, what we're going to do, what is the FM button? It is, oh, I can't see nothing. Okay, it's this one right here. Press it until it flashes. Okay, it's, it's already 90.9 and 90.9. .9. Okay, so this is ready. It's already ready. But if not, you know, you would just press it until, you know, this matches the radio. Let me zoom in on that a little bit. And it's kind of hard to see, but radio is on 90.9. .9. That is on 90.9. .9. Okay, now that's pretty much all there is to that. Now you can plug your you can plug a USB thing in there, you know, USB memory stick in there or whatnot. Okay, so When the car charger FM transmitter is successfully connected with your smartphone, you can enjoy convenient calls. Okay, so you can call and stuff like that. But right now, let's, okay, let's see if this works. All right, we're on here. I've got one of my videos queued up. There it is. It's that simple. You're stubborn as they come. Never settle down. You'll always be the one. Okay, so that's that's it. That's how simple it is. It pretty much found its own station, so you know. Doesn't stick around. Now I'm gonna have monkey call me. You may go and let's over. see what happens. You'll see it in your One, three, five, two. Hello? Hello? How are you? I'm fine, how are you? I'm good. Is it working? Yeah, say hello to everybody. Hello everyone! <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, the sound ain't that great, but... You know, we gave three dollars. Like on volume button on it? Yeah, I just turned you up. Oh, okay. Is that better? Yeah, awesome. So it works good. Oh, cool. Oh, I'll have to try it out tomorrow. Okay, but it wasn't ringing. It started saying the phone number, so I went ahead and answered real quick. That way, nobody got the number. All right. Oh, it tells you the number? Yeah, like caller ID. Oh. Oh, that's kind of nice. So if I don't know the number, I don't have to answer it. Right. Hmm. So like if it comes up 1888, you know, you know it's an 800 number you want to answer. Right. But if it's 352 number, yeah, you can answer it. Yeah. It might even say the well, name, you know. Who knows? But it works. Yeah. But it works. Well, let's try it and let it ring and see if it says the name. Well, it just started coming. Want to do that? All right, it just started coming up the number. But yeah, so look. Okay. Well, all right. We'll try it again. All right. Bye. One, three, five. Two. Nope, it just started reading the number out, but that's okay. Oh, uh, okay. That's fine, though. Yeah. Awesome. Huh? I said awesome. 
You can hear me really good. I can hear you very well for what this thing is. So what we'll do? Okay. Did you have you? Did you have the music on? And then then did I call and it interrupted the music with the radio? No, but it will. But it will. Yeah, it will. I can have any station on listening to the music and be able to use that? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, it'll, um, see, I've, I've had these before, and okay. what, it, what it does is just, like, all at once, the music will be like you turned it down. All right. And then the number will come up or whatever. You know, you're getting a call, and you just hit that button right there. But I'll show you how to do it later. Alright. Okay. Alright, bye. Bye, monkey. Bye, super. <laughs> also, guys, what else you can do on the side of this, where's that? Right there. There's a port, an aux port, auxiliary port. port. This is a 3.5 millimeter, okay? That's what this is. This here, this cable, okay? Now what you can do, if you have an auxiliary port in your stereo, like a hole right here somewhere that you can plug auxiliary in, you know, it'll just look like, it'll look like one of them right here. I don't know how well you can see that my battery's dead on my light. Okay, if you have one of them in your stereo, you can just plug this directly into your into your aux port and then into this. Okay, and you don't like if if you have if your if your stereo is not that great at picking up stations and stuff, so. Now we don't have one of them, but we still have this. We can also use this again. We can plug this in. Okay. Well, maybe. There it is. And we'll plug that into there. And there we have it. Just like that. That way you don't have to find the different stations you, you need. So, let's see if it works and you're still wireless here and then your wire you can just put wherever you want out of the way and it's even more crystal clear so. There you go. And yes, this is mine. My my music. See? So, I don't want any copyright infringements on this because it's this one's not copyrighted. But anyway, there you go. I wanted to show you that. That way it's crystal clear clarity. If you're getting some static between this and your radio, because it still has to, you know, go through radio waves. So, you can just plug it. And like I said, if you got a tape deck and you got one of these adapters, you can still find them at Walmart. They're cheap. Plug it directly into there, and you're still hands-free. This thing will still operate the same way, the same phone calls. The only thing is, you don't, you won't have to make sure this is on the same radio station. Now, what I did for her was I went ahead and programmed it at 90.9, and we'll go to FM. Oh, I don't want to do that. Okay. And I've programmed it. So it... I got music playing on here, so I better not do that. So I programmed it, so when she gets in, if she wants to use the radio, she can. She can just push preset 5, and it matches up. So there you go. But in this case... Probably, she'll probably just leave it like that. And then she can hit her playlist or listen to her YouTube videos. 
whatever just like that so I wanted to show you guys that and um, there you go you're all set there you have it that's how to it's real easy um, this one actually tuned itself into 90.9 the same station I had the radio on so but what we'll do is we'll we'll get the $20 one here in a week or two when I get time we'll get the $20 one from um, Walmart but so far this thing does do what it says the clarity of the phone calls not that great but um, you can understand pretty well uh, so we'll try that and we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison on those but um, yeah that's it's real easy real simple instructions you know just but if it if it doesn't like tune into the station you just you just hit that button the FM button and you keep pushing it until it brings up the station that you're on and you're good to go so so far yeah that's cool because in her line of work she could be driving down the road and her phone rings a lot could be the office could be a patient so this way it's hands free you know it's Bluetooth so it's legal and um, she don't have to worry about getting a ticket and most of all it's safe for her and the surrounding people so yeah whatever if you guys see those yeah pick one up I mean seems to be alright we'll let you know in an upcoming video of, of how well it does and everything so that being said guys thanks for watching and remember check out monkey 1000 and I'm gonna say Shea Bear the myth the man a legend I'm sick I gotta go guys alright thanks for watching bye bye now